So my grandpa told me before he died, he said, Nathaniel, when I was a boy, I was 10 years old. He said, I can remember my dad praying, A.D. Urshan praying. And he knew people that are just legends to us now. And as a 10-year-old boy, he knew G.T. Haywood. This is back in 1930, 1940. Amen. The Holy Ghost is always cutting edge. The world didn't get around to it till 1960, but the Holy Ghost was breaking it down in the... Tens and twenties and thirties. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost was whispering, rise up. Rise up. Rise up. And come away. And he said, I was there. Now, before I say that, let me say this. You've got to realize this is, this is a time of great segregation. This is a time of persecution that, that our little 2015 brains cannot comprehend. This is a time where color meant a big deal. It was a, meant a lot. It was a big deal. And you have an, an Iranian Persian immigrant who speaks broken English. And you have a black man. And they are best friends in a predominantly white country. And he said, I was there the day the pounding on the door shook the frame. And I jumped. Your great-grandfather had been praying. They prayed for hours looking for the other side. And he watched with the eyes of a ten-year-old as A.D. Urshan opened the door. And there stood G.T. Haywood. His tears were running down his face. And he said, Andrew, God gave me a song. And those ten-year-old ears heard him sing when gloom and sadness whisper. You've sinned. There's no use to pray. That's when I turn my eyes to my Jesus. And He tells me to say, I see a crimson stream of blood. It flows from Calvary And its ways which reach the throne of God Are sweeping over me wonder how many people on the wrong side of the boat sang that song not knowing it came from the hands of a black man. Not knowing that an Iranian immigrant prayed with him and spoke with tongues in the living room. This thing is not a color thing. This thing's a Holy Ghost thing. And Jesus is saying, let us, let us that's you and you and you and you and you and you and you. Let us go. 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 To the other side. Cast your nets. Cast your nets into Honduras. Cast your nets into Africa. Cast your nets into Russia. Cast your nets into the other neighborhood. That's where the fish are. That's where the calling's at. That's where the harvest is. Baptism is. Baptism is done for the forgiveness of sins. 
Acts 2.38. Baptism is done to save us. 1 Peter 3.21, Acts 2.40, Mark 16.16. Baptism is done to wash away our sins. Acts 22.16. Baptism is done to be reborn to new life. John 3.5, Romans 6.3-6. Baptism is done to clothe ourselves with Christ. Galatians 3.26 and 27. 